Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Force Feed for this Thursday, May 24th. In today's gaming news, Double Fine and Sega officially announced the cave, Skyrim update adds mounted combat, new DLC for Mass Effect 3, and both 38 studios and big huge games lay off their entire staff. Today, Double Fine and Sega officially announced The Cave, a side-scrolling multi-character adventure game. In The Cave, you must select three of seven playable characters to travel with you as you make your way through the game. You will routinely encounter obstacles and puzzles that require you to switch control between your characters, using their unique abilities to complete the challenge. It is possible to complete the game with any combination of characters, but important to note that the game's ending will change depending on which you select. The Cave comes to Xbox Live Arcade, PlayStation Network, and PC sometime in 2013. The Cave reminds me a lot of Trine, which is good because Trine was a great game. Do you like side-scrolling adventure games? If so, what's your first impressions on the cave? In an upcoming update for Skyrim, mounted combat is being added to the game. As teased this past February in the Skyrim Game Jam video, mounted combat is being added to the game, allowing players to engage in melee and ranged battles atop their trusty steed. PC users can try mounted combat now by opting into the beta version via Steam, however there is currently no word on when the update will be coming to the consoles. It's encouraging to see continued support for a single player RPG, but really, I think we're all just waiting on a co-op. And no, the reskinned WoW MMO doesn't count. Mass Effect 3's multiplayer is getting some new content next week in the Rebellion Pack DLC. This DLC will be adding two new maps, Firebase Jade and Firebase Goddess, along with six new characters, three weapons, an extra gear slot, and a new in-mission objective. The Rebellion Pack is coming to Xbox Live, PSN, and PC on May 29th, and is free to anyone with an online pass. That means if you bought the game new, you're all set. I found Mass Effect 3's multiplayer to be quite enjoyable, and while this update isn't enough to bring me back to the game, it's good to know that when I do eventually go back, there'll be something new waiting for me. A handful of new screenshots for Project Copernicus, the Kingdoms of Amalur MMO, were released today. But you know what? It doesn't really matter, because both 38 Studios and Big Huge Games have laid off their entire staff. Today, WPRI got hold of an email 38 Studios sent to its entire workforce that read, The company is experiencing an economic downturn. To avoid further losses and possibility of retrenchment, the company has decided that a company-wide layoff is absolutely necessary. These layoffs are non-voluntary and non-disciplinary. This is your official layoff notice, effective today. This appears to be the final blow in a month-long debacle that began with the company defaulting on a loan payment to Rhode Island. Although it's certainly possible that another company will pick up the Kingdoms of Amalur IP, it's pretty safe to say that this puts plans for the MMO and the Reckoning sequel on indefinite hold. Also, it is pretty unfortunate because even though Reckoning wasn't that well received, I know a lot of people liked the game. I liked the combat, even though that was about it. Alright guys, that'll do it for today's episode of The Force Feed. As always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and favorite the video and tune in tomorrow. Once again, this has been Force, and you've just been Force Fed. Hmm, what to do next? You know, I've been working in video games pretty much my entire adult life. So I'm just wondering, what's the next logical step? I know, I'll go play professional baseball. That'll go well.